uh, Dana White and uh, Tyron Woodley situation is kind of funny. You know, I'm sure that Dana w wishes that he could strip Tyron of the title, but he can't because he has already defended his belt three times now. And uh, one thing is for sure, if Tyron loses his belt, he's never going to fight for a title shot ever again in the UFC. Uh, you know, he's, he's a pain in the ass for the UFC. You know, he just accuses the, accuses the UFC for, the, for racism. You know, everybody lives in racism, so just deal with it. I live in fucking racism, man. So just deal with it. Stop whining, man. As soon as he got the belt, you know, he, he called out Nick Diaz. After that, uh, he was pushing for the GSP fight. After Steven Wonderboy Thompson fight, he wanted to push for the Connor fight. Now he's saying that uh, he bets his house that his next opponent is Nate, Nate Diaz. Man, how could you stoop so low, man? You know, you know Nate Diaz is not even in the fucking top 10, man. So, <laughs> you know, if you keep talking like that, you know, they are going to fucking strip you of the title, man. Just... You're not the fucking matchmaker. Just fight your money, fight your fights, and make your money, and just be quiet. You know, just be a good fucking champion, man. You know, Dana White said that they they sent the lawyer to him and uh, asked him to basically shut the fuck up. So you know, I respect that Dana. You know, uh, Tyron Woodley has defended his title and all that, but you know, just you know, be, stop saying all that crazy shit. I hope, uh, you know, that, that wouldn't surprise me if uh, Tyron Woodley, you know, wanted to attack me now. <laughs> you know, he's so, too fucking sensitive. So I hope you like this video and uh, give me your opinions. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.